The Prophet Muhammad says, No soul will taste death until every penny, every portion, every portion of the sustenance written for it is given to it. You can't die. If there is one grain of rice remaining that was supposed to go in your mouth, death will only come after that one grain of rice is gone where it was supposed to. So trust Allah. While we lay our trust in Allah, let it not be tawakul and let it make, make sure that it is tawakul. What is the difference? Tawakul is the person who does al-akhdu bil asbab. The one who makes sure he does whatever is in his capacity, God given capacity to achieve what he wants, then he relies on Allah. So tawakul means to do whatever you can seeking the help of Allah, using the ability given to you by Allah to achieve what you believe is good for you and beneficial for you. And then you lay your trust in Allah. That is called tawakkul. Tawakkul means to lay a false trust in Allah where you did nothing, yet Allah gave you the ability. I'm sitting in the masjid making dua. Oh Allah, give me a good job. Give me a good job. I'm there for Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha and Tahajjud. And I never ever went out to look for any job whatsoever. That is Tawakul. Tawakul meaning you are praying. Allah says, I gave you hands. I gave you feet. I gave you health. I gave you the ability. All you needed to do was to apply a little bit of the brain that we gave you to get up and to go and talk to a few people, open your mouth, network, develop contacts, go and ask, go and create a CV of yours, put it, present it, try again and again, and then you get your job. So tawakul is when you have done nothing and you expect Allah to do everything. And tawakul is when you expect Allah obviously to help you and assist you and you do your best in your with your God given capacity, bearing in mind that whatever you get, you will still get it only because Allah will give it to you. So while we want to earn, we have a sense of fear. Where is that fear coming from? Wallahi, it is coming from shaitan. الشيطان يعيدكم الفقر ويأمركم بالفحشاء. Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, Shaytan promises you, or he makes you worried about what? About فقر. فقر means poverty. Shaytan is dangling the poverty in front of you, and what does he want you to do? He wants you not only to consider. Unethical dealings or that which is unacceptable, but immorality as well. Al Fahsha, that which is unethical, that which is immoral. We're talking about morality and business. Here, the term used is Fahsha. Fuhsh refers to immoral behavior, which, which would include illicit relationships and so on. But it also refers to anything that lacks morality, is Fahsha. A shaitan, what does he do? He promises you something false. He says, you know what? If you don't do what everyone is doing, you are not going to get the deal. How much did we hear this morning of so many of the entrepreneurs and the business people who were one by one saying, we left a deal for Allah. Allah gave us a bigger deal. Allahu Akbar. We left a deal for Allah. Allah gave us a bigger deal. And then there was there were others who spoke about blessings. In Islam, we are taught that what is more important is the blessing. It is more important than the figure, than the deal. I'd rather have less with blessing than to have more without blessing. But as a human, there is nothing wrong in asking Allah for both. You can be greedy. It's okay. For as long as your intention is, I'm going to be charitable, I'm going to be humble. Listen to the verse that I read earlier. Amazing, amazing verse. Shaitan promises you that, you know what, you won't do the deal unless you do something wrong. So if you don't start doing wrong deals like what we heard about nine liters of fuel being sold as 10 liters and so on, we heard those examples this morning. Shaitan tells you, if you're not going to do that, how will you break even? How will you make money? And Allah says, that is Shaitan's promise. He's ordering you to do something immoral and unethical. And Allah says, my promise is we will forgive you and give you more than you need. 